Hold on. Oh, you're recording. I'm on. I'm on. And you're going live. Am I right live? Now. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Happy. Oh, what day is it? Thursday. Happy Thursday yes, evening. Yes. Duke says hello. Daisy says hello. Daisy is on the floor on the pillow behind Bill. I'm Bill. I'm Bill. No, you're not. You know, <laughs> I was trying so hard to not to do that. I'm Robin. <laughs> I forgot my name. <laughs> I'm Robin. Behind the computer and the camera is my husband, Bill. We are Raincross Farms Makery, and we are coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. And this is our scrappy little dog, Duke. And we also have our big girl, Daisy, who just had some surgery. So she's she's getting some extra attention and she's getting some extra focus on Facebook, too. Some of you may have seen her seen her photos. And look at you just sitting there, Daddy's all proud. Here. Liana's here. Welcome. Let me pull up the live on my phone. And I don't know why that YouTube thing has come up 404. I don't know. Shelby says, but... <laughs> But well, Hi. hello Shelby. Hello, but but. Nice to see you, Shelby. Hi Liana. Hi Patty. Oh, she said, hey, hello Shelby. Stupid autograph. <laughs> I know. I know that. Oh, hello Sylvia. Welcome. So if you are new, you know what, Duke? Okay, you can stay here for just another minute. If you are new, you are probably not new to Facebook Live, so we would love it if you would follow the steps if you would love our page follow our page we are working really hard to get more and more followers and we would appreciate it if you would follow our page and if you are so inclined please share our video with somebody that you think would be interested in some crafts right duke right okay i'm gonna have you get down buddy Come here buddy boy there we go Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for now. And I think Bill needs to take off that big old fat logo. Oh, is it time? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm busy trying okay. to do stuff here. Okay, so this is this is going to be our project for tonight. But before we do, while a couple more of you are popping on, let's see. Welcome, Cherie. Welcome, Margie. This was our project last night. This was um, this design is our exclusive club transfer. So this is February's transfer just came out um, only available during the month of February. And it's only available to our club members and to designers. And I, I bring this up because Chalk Couture is having an awesome deal right now for club members. So the club is a monthly DIY subscription service. So for $19.99 a month, you get to mail free to your door um, an exclusive eight and a half by 11 size transfer, and you get three coordinating paste packets to paste the design. So you just find yourself a surface and paste away. These, these will give you, you get enough here to do two or three or four projects with these. So it's not just a one and done. For the month of February only, Chalk Couture is offering anyone who signs up for club during the month, they will get a mystery pack of five transfers from the previous club year. So from last year's club designs, they have a few extras. So they will put together a little mystery bundle of five transfers. That's about a $75 value and you get that free just for signing up. So your first month, you get six transfers and three pace packets for $19.99. In addition, if you are already a club member or if you become a club member, you can also, if you order $60 worth of product before tax and shipping, you will get a different set of five mystery transfers. And those are from 2020 and be and before so there's a way for if you're brand new there's a way for you to get 10 a 10 pack of mystery transfers absolutely free so if you are interested in that at all now is the time i have a um a goal of getting 10 new club members this month i'd love it if you would be one of them i want to show you something i just got from amazon today 
I am intending to spoil my club members. So we are going to we're going to be having a club craft night. So you have to be a club member to be able to come to it'll be a Zoom meeting and we'll all craft together. And I just ordered this is our design. It has this cute little bicycle. I just ordered these adorable little wood cut out bicycles. You know what? I'm going to go over the okay. top. Show them up. Okay, it might be easier up there. So, aren't those adorable? So, I am later later on during the month. I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can use this same transfer, but I'm going to be using some of these, and I'm going to make these available, and a couple other things. I'm still waiting on from Amazon. A couple other things to for a little gift package for my club members. And I'll have it mailed to you before our club craft night. And you're, you're welcome to use these in your designs. So if you have any questions or if, you, if you're good to go, you can type club in the comments and it will send you a link to the, the a recap of the specials going on this month and a, way, a place for you to sign up and get more information. If you want more information from me, just ask me in the comments and after the live, I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's club, that's our commercial for club. We're not gonna, we're not gonna use the club transfer tonight, but I don't want this month to go by without you that having an, a opportunity to take advantage of this great deal. That was last night, they this, go back and look at that video. Yes, this was last night. Alana says hi. Great to see everyone. Sending nose kisses Lana. and nose boobs to Miss Daisy. Yeah, sweet you, Daisy. <laughs> she, I don't know if you saw. Yes, I do. I love those bicycles. They are so cute. They're very detailed too. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them, but I'll come up with something awesome. Um, I don't know if you have seen Daisy. Daisy had knee surgery. She tore her CCL, so she had to have that repaired, and that included cutting into bone and all kinds of stuff. And she has titanium plates now screwed into her leg. And anyway, she can't lick her suit to her staples for for the next three years, I'm sure. I <laughs> just it might as well be It'll feel like until she gets the staples out. So she of course she came home from the vet with the big old plastic cone that is just super super annoying both to her and to us. So good old dog daddy went into town today, went to the pet store and got her one of those soft inflatable donut collars. So she it's like she's got a pillow around her neck. I want one. When she's done with it, I'm going to wear it. That way, whenever I'm ready to take a nap, I can just lean over. I've got a pillow. However, it's a little bit too big, and she ends up getting her front paws through it, and then it kind of goes around her shoulder. Anyway, we're, we're working it out, but it's it's working. She can't get to her knee with it, so that's a good thing. Hey, okay. Sharon said I did good. You did good. You okay. did good. Of course, I told him to go get one, but he'd have thought of it on his own. Because it was annoying for him, too. Okay, yes, she's the bionic super puppy. Now she's like her, her Uncle Mike, who has, who has screws and rods and plates in his leg, too. We need to get a copy of her x-ray. Show that to put that online for you. Okay, so tonight's project. Let's get into it. Enough all this chit-chat. Okay, so right before Christmas... We made this project. This is our vintage truck cutouts and our vintage truck pattern. And you can see it's it's kind of very Christmassy. It's got over the river and through the woods. It's got red buffalo plaid truck and it's got the cute little Christmas tree. It looks gold in the camera, but it's really green. But gold is fine too. Well, Christmas is over, but I still want to display this. So let me show you the awesome transfer. Okay, so this is the truck transfer itself. Okay, I'm gonna have you do something because yes. we just had a, maybe 20 seconds of dead air. Okay. Just say, this is the truck transfer again. Show me the truck okay. one more time. That was all okay. gone. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you, I'm did, a, you know what? Pick it up right I'm here. Get, I'm gonna pull this out. Nothing new okay. here. Yeah, well. Everything <laughs> died okay. for about 20 seconds. Anyway, this is the truck that we have decked out for Christmas. But this is meant to spin around 
and I can decorate this for the next season. So we're going to decorate a truck for spring. This is the truck pattern. Um, and nor I, I've cut it apart, so it's all. So it has it goes two of them. It's it's a it's meant to be layered. So take this down. So one of the one of the designs, one of the transfers is for this colored portion, this red portion. I happen to put the buffalo plaid transfer over it, and that's how I got that effect. Ordinarily, it'd be a solid color. And then this one, the second one goes over the top, and that's the black outline. Now that's for this direction, but when we go to do the back, they have given you the exact same, the exact same transfers just flipped so that you can decorate the back side of your truck. So this is the truck, the truck cutout. So we are going to be using that and this. Now the rest of it, this is the add-on kit. So the add-on kit comes with two of these blocks that are wide enough to hold this up. So you could do, well, you could do eight different, eight different, but it comes with four different sayings. So instead of over the river and through the woods, we're gonna do something different. So it comes with two of those. And it comes with two of these little um, things to put in the bed of the truck. So we are, we're actually still not going to use this one. This one is for the watermelons and the pumpkins for summer and fall. And we are going to do, we're going to do the hearts on the back of this for Valentine's Day and spring. If the hearts don't look springy enough, we could just completely take it off and we can just have the truck. Okay, so let me show you the pattern for the add-ons. Oh, I dropped it. Hold on, hold the phone. Okay. So this is the vintage truck add-ons pattern. And it comes with everything you need for four different, four different designs. So we have used over the river and through the woods. That was appropriate for Christmas. Um, in the future, we will use Welcome Autumn. And in the summertime, we'll probably do Farm Fresh Produce. But tonight, we are going to do Loads of Love. Kind of with the hearts in the loads of the truck bed. Okay, and then here is the transfer for the Christmas tree. It's also layered, so it gives a little bit of depth and dimension. Uh, we're going to do the hearts tonight. It also comes with watermelons. Again, layered, so here's the, the bottom, and then this goes over the top. And then pumpkins, again, layered, bottom, top. So, really neat pattern. So, it, it, it can take you year-round. So let me put those aside. We're going to use these. Let me put that aside. And let's get to getting. So we're going to start with the truck. So I'm going to use this. This comes pre-painted, but it's, it's a wood cutout. It's about three quarters of an inch wide, so it's nice and steady when it stands. I'm going to wax this because... It has a wood grain, and I don't want my paint, my my paste, to bleed into those little alleys and ditches and whatnot. So I'm going to take my surface wax. Surface wax. I sell it in my store. You can also just use paste wax from a hardware store, but the paste wax smells pretty strong. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here. I don't want a lot because if I have too much, it will affect how well my paste sticks. So I'm really just kind of smoothing out the surface, filling in some of those uh, the, the wood, wood grain grooves, making it nice and smooth. Okay, everyone's quiet tonight. Well, Cheryl said I did good. So you I'm did good, so everyone's perfect. done? I'm fine. Everyone's, you're done? Okay, you could end on that note. Yep. Okay, so I've, I've put some on. I'm going to buff it off. 
while I've got this out, I'm going to, we're going to chalk on this side. I'm going to go ahead and wax this one too. Again, this is, this is uh, a wood surface. I could sand it a bit if I wanted to. I could actually sand off the corners and kind of make it look distressed. But I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. Maybe the next one when we when we do summer and autumn. Can I take that? Let me buff, buff some more off. Okay, so that will be loads of love. And then let me put a little bit of wax on our cargo piece. just so we're good to go. Now you don't have to wax it. You'll, you'll get better results if you do, if you wax on wood, especially painted wood. If you don't, if you choose not to wax or you don't have wax, um, just make sure you really fuzz your transfer well and don't use a lot of pressure when you, when you do your chalking so you don't have any bleed through. Okay, so here is our truck. Let me get my fuzzing cloth out. Okay, I don't mind giving kudos for a well done thing. I know Miss Daisy is a lot happier with her cone of less shame. Yes, she is a lot happier. She's a lot more comfortable. And we are we're a little more relaxed because we're not worried that she's licking her stitches. Okay, so who else is out there? Does anybody have weekend plans? It's almost the weekend. Okay, these patterns go this direction and they're, they're meant to be layered. So I'm going to do them in order. So this one is B1. So I'm going to do it first wax and then and buff, B2, buff. B2, wax and buff. Yes, wax and buff, 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 buff. If you can feel it tacky, you haven't buffed enough. You should not feel um, tacky wax on it. Okay, if it's if it's tacky, like that even feels a little bit tacky. Okay? If it feels a little bit tacky, your paint your paste is not going to stick very well. Okay, so I'm going to do these in order. So I'm going to start with our outline, and I'm going to do this in black. So. I have not used this one before, so it is really sticky. So I'm going to fuzz it. I'm just going to put, stick it on a towel. This is our fuzz cloth, which is out of stock. You can just use any kind of towel. You can even use your t-shirt. Oh, by the way, did you notice my t-shirt? That is this design. So you don't have to do it on these cutouts. You can do it on any surface. You can even use ink and do it on a t-shirt. Okay, so I've got this a little less sticky. Now I'm going to place it on here and it lines up perfectly. I just want to make sure I have it centered. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to kind of hold it up to the light and make sure there is an even amount of border everywhere. Pull off that hair. That is not even a dog hair. That's a me hair. Lost, lost full signal again. Okay. Still needs to come up a bit. Okay, so of course you know I, I have a cart link for you if you're interested in these supplies. So if, if that's something you're interested in, if you even just want to check out the pricing, feel free to type in truck. And you will get, you, you, you'll actually have a choice of two links. You can, you, can, you can go to both of them. One of them, it just has the transfer. And I think I just put in black paste because I'm not sure what other colors you want to decorate in. And the other one has tools. I kind of separated them. So um, if you want to, if you're interested in purchasing just some of the tools and supplies, that I'm using. I have a, a separate bundle there for you to look at. 
The first time she thought I was stopping her from going ill. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So I'm, you can't see it, but I'm holding it up to the light. And this is kind of transparent, and I can see exactly where the edge of the of the transfer is and where the edge of the cutout is. Now I'm going to push it down and make sure there's no air bubbles. Because if there's air bubbles, that's where paste will bleed through. Okay, and something went wrong. Of course something went wrong. So if you are new, freezing up here, I'm, you mean the, the video's freezing, not the, the weather outside is freezing, or both? I keep seeing on Facebook lots of people towards the Midwest and East are getting, getting cold. Okay, so I'm pushing this down, and I'm going to take my black paste. This is Chalkology paste, chalk in paste form, non-toxic, um water soluble it's smudge and budge proof when it's dry but it can be removed from certain surfaces with water and a little bit of elbow grease so i'm taking a little bit of this paste putting it on my squeegee and i am just dragging it over that screen where you see white is a fine mesh screen called a silk screen and that's what gives us the detail of the design by pushing that paste through. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more. Joe says it's both in 64 there and she still came. Oh. <laughs> 64? That's double what we've had. We had snow last night. We didn't have slow, snow today, but it was cold enough that the snow mostly stuck. Not completely. We don't get horrible snow right where we are. We get a little dusting. It lasts a day or two. Then it melts off. <laughs> Linda Lou says her toes are freezing. She went out and fed the cat in her flip-flops. <laughs> Yeah, Margie, we, I, I understand we're having problems here tonight. I'm watching the, the um, I'm watching everything. And uh, the stream metrics are showing me freezing on a regular basis for long periods of time. And my phone is doing the same thing yours is. And yeah. I'm watching our internet connection and there's no outages on our end. We are so sorry. We're going to blame Facebook. Yeah, it's Facebook's okay. problem. So I'm going to squeegee off any excess and I'm going to lift this up. That looks like, okay, it thought, I thought it might have been drying just a little bit, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to peel it up slowly. And if I see a section that I need to go over again, I can lay the transfer right back down and chalk right there. Look at that. Okay, there's a little section that I want to want to hit again. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think? What do you think? He didn't do the overhead. He's busy. He's busy looking at... Uh, I'm, I'm working on our dinner reservations for tomorrow night. Okay. We already have them. No, okay. Well, not the reservations, okay. but the rides. Okay. I am... I'm not going to clean this just yet. Well, maybe I will. I'm going to spray it with water first, just so that paste doesn't completely dry in the screen. Actually, I will... I'll wash this up in a minute. So I'm just going to, I sprayed it so it's it stays damp a little bit. And I'm going to use this again, but for right now I'm going to close that up. And I'm going to hit this with my quick dry tool because I'm going to lay the next transfer over the top of this and chalk on another color. The color I'm going to use, I have to apologize for Bill because I asked him last night, what color should I do it? And he, he told me what he thought. And I said, no, 
<laughs> so apparently, I, apparently I knew what I wanted to do. Now I'm not like that when it's time to eat out all the time. I will usually tell him, I don't care where we go, but I don't, I'm not in the mood for Chinese. Or I don't care where we go, but I'm not in the mood for Mexican. Thanks for all the help. I think I narrowed it down a little bit for you. So it's kind of like, what color should I do this, but I'm not in the mood for green. So this dries pretty quickly. Kind of chilly down here, so it's taking a little extra time. So I, I don't want to say hero because I don't I take all the abuse I'm gonna take on this. <laughs> Bill suggested green. First he said the bright meadow green. No, I said not the bright meadow green. I think I needed something dark. Well that is that's not what I said no. Oh. Not that. Yeah, you said that. That's why you okay. we would have to. Okay. So, so what the what color we're going to use? We're going to use. We are going to use our new shimmer rose gold. Because I can't wait to use this. I think it's going to look awesome. But you can do any color you want. We could do blue later. We could. You know, I could get another one of these cutouts. These just come in a single pack, but you could buy two of them and you could have four different designs. But I, one thing I've noticed, red goes with a lot of, with a lot of holiday. <coughs> it goes with Christmas. It goes with Valentine's Day. It goes with Chinese New Year. It goes with Fourth um, of July, Memorial Day. Um, it can be used in autumn. Okay, so I've got that dry. And I'm going to give it just another light coat of wax because I don't want this stencil to go down and adhere to that paint, that paste, and pull it up. So I'm going to put just a little bit of wax. And I'm really only going to put it down here at the bottom part. Because this stencil, this transfer doesn't go all the way up to the top. We're just going to add some color to the body of the truck. I completely off that time. I'm sorry. And mine keeps, mine keeps saying something went wrong. Yeah, that's how the that same thing happened here. So if you are new, we would love it if you would say hello, let us know you're here, let us know you're watching. If you're not watching live, if it doesn't say live up in the red box, up here that means you're watching the replay we love to have you welcome and please type in hashtag replay so we know you were here and we can say hello to you and again we would love it if you would follow our page share our page if you if you are so inclined if you if you have a lot of crafty friends tag somebody if you are part of a craft group Feel free to share it into there as long as they appreciate lives being shared. And of course, follow our page. We are looking for more followers. We just have over 800. So we are just at the beginning stages of all of this Facebook folder all. Um, Cadet blue. Yeah. Oh, that would be pretty. Blue instead of black. Okay, so... Shimmer Rose Gold, brand new, will be available on Tuesday morning. But I got it because I went to the leadership conference. So pretty. It's a it's it's kind of a dusty pink, but the shimmer in it is gold. Toss that if I don't need it. And with the shimmers, sometimes the the little mica flakes kind of settle. So I'm just going to give it a quick stir. Okay, can you see? Can you see that gold tinge to it? I hope it shows up well enough on this truck. I would love to have a truck in this color. It is, it's definitely a rose gold, but it could 
on the screen it's almost got a copper look to it yeah kind of it would go really well with the copper yeah. okay so i'm going to peel this one off set these aside where am i going to put it? over here and i'm going to fuzz this especially since it's going down on freshly applied paste so i'm going to fuzz this really well and what i'm going to do if i was doing this on a solid surface there's little registration marks that i could line up but i'm not doing it on a i'm doing it on a cutout so th there's nothing to chalk those onto so i'm going to line up the wheels when i do this so this goes fits right over the top of that they're designed to go together and it covers up some of that black perfectly so that I can lay down the background color. Now, honestly, I would probably have done the second one first, but if you get the if you get the wheels down too low, it throws your whole thing off. So it's better to use the, the outline one first. OK, here we go rose gold shimmer Ooh, i wish you could see that this is one of the shimmeriest shimmers i've seen they must have wait, wait, wait. say that again this is one of the shimmeriest shimmers i've seen it i mean it really it really pops I wonder if they have a different source for their mica flakes. I think it's going to look good that way. I've always been a sucker for for the coppery copper colors. Copper colors. Okay, so I'm scraping off any excess, and I'm putting it back in the jar because we can use it we can still use it waste not what not okay i'm going to put that in the water i'm going to close that up and ready are you ready Ooh. oops you know what there's a little bit that i want to go back over i shouldn't have put my squeegee away just a tiny bit there perfect Ooh, Ooh i love it tell me you love it show me some hearts look at that let's see can you see that shimmer that is not wet that is shimmer that is beautiful. I love it. I have a new, I don't even know that I ever had a favorite color. I have a new favorite color of our paste. So let me spray this. And I'm going to set this aside for just a moment. I'm, I'm going to put it here so you can kind of admire it. I'm going to try to not get it wet. I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean my transfers real quick. These are meant to be reusable eight to ten, no, 10 to 12 times guaranteed by the company if you take care of them, wash them up. So I've got them sprayed with water, just regular tap water is fine. And I'm going to use my Swedish dishcloth, or you could just use a paper towel. You don't have to do this, but I have found that if I clean up this first layer of paste with a paper towel, I don't go through my board erasers as quickly. But you definitely do want to want to use a board eraser, which are out of stock right now. Okay, so I'm just using this to clean up that first layer of paste. If I haven't told you about these dishcloths, they are all natural, compostable, um reusable say it, it like takes the place of like a dozen paper towels so good for the environment 
but they work really well. I can wring it out, I can reuse it, and I'm not constantly going through paper towels. So I've got the first layer off. Now I'm going to get out my board eraser, which is like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals because we don't want to put chemicals on these. So I'm just going to dip this in some water and wring it out so it's just damp. And now this is going to take off, well, most of that. The black is very highly pigmented, so it is going to stain this transfer. But it doesn't matter as long as I get it out of the, the silk screen. It won't affect the usability of the transfer. So I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just wipe it and get that paste and get all the fuzz, the fuzz off of the transfer that we put on earlier. And once I have, once the screen is clean, you can kind of see, you can see through that screen. Once the screen is clean, you have it cleaned up well enough. I'm going to let this air dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to put it back on its backer sheet with the shiny side to the sticky side and store it away in its little cellophane envelope. We do the same thing with this side. The shimmer, ooh, it even left pretty shimmer on my... The shimmers, you kind of have to clean really well because the little shimmers will stick to the sticky part and will deaden your stickiness after a while. Dead so stickiness. Dead yes, it will it will basically cover up the sticky with, with those little flakes. So you want to get it cleaned up just as well as you can. You will still have sparklies on it. So there we go. Those are clean. And I'm gonna, again, I'm going to let them air dry and I'll put them away. Okay, so let's work on you know what? I'm going to I'm going to dry this a little bit. And then we're going to work on the base. It's all about the base. Mm -hmm. All about that base. I always thought it was about fishing song, all about the, the bass. bass. Yeah. All about the bass. Okay. It's it's good. Good. Hi to a Tammy. I didn't see. Oh, there's Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Okay. Hey, Christine. Christina, welcome. Okay, yes. You got to get you some of this color. Tuesday, it becomes available. I still have a pre-sale going on. So if, you, if you're interested in that, go to my VIP group and find out about the sale. Oh, I'm not supposed to say I'm having a sale. Sorry. Sorry, Chuck Couture. I didn't tell him how much of the sale. Okay. So I'm going to let that continue to air dry. Well, I was going to ask, yes. does the shimmer take longer to it, dry? It does take a little bit longer to dry, which is, which is good because it gives you a little more working time before it dries in the transfer. Okay. Okay, so let's do our base. Here we have, okay, we have over the river and through the woods. So I want this one to go up this direction. And we are going to do loads of love. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do it in black. So it's, make a suggestion. yes. Let me see how you're doing that again. So you're putting it so the woods yeah, are So down. when I, so when it will be. It's on the bottom. So that the other one doesn't show whenever. You know what I mean? I don't want to. <laughs> Whatever. You do what you want, baby doll. You do me do me? What do you think? Should I do it? See, I don't I don't want that to get scratched up at all. Okay. Though. Then don't do that. Okay. So if you if you wanted it to be viewed from both sides and you didn't want it to say if you just wanted it blank on the other side, you could chalk it with this down. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. Do it. Do it. Okay, so I waxed this already. I'm going to fuzz this and I'm going to get up here and center this. Okay. 
that's not centered. Okay, so that F in of goes down a little lower. I'm going to bring it up just a tad. Okay. Okay, so pushing it down so there's no air bubbles. Again, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this in black. And put on some paste. This is kind of a zip, 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 one and done. Oh, I figured out why our YouTube thing wasn't working. Why? You had put in hearts oh. as part of the... And it was, it, it was reading the hearts? It's reading the hearts. Oh. You can't have those. Okay. Just like no hearts. Just little arrows from the door. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Peel that off. See, now I could not do that freehand. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to get out another drying mat. Again, Dollar Tree drying drying mats, and I'm going to spray that because I'm not going to clean it just yet. That keeps the paste damp, so it's easier to clean out of the it's easier to clean out of the stencil when I am ready to clean. Now, if you're in your house crafting, just take those to the sink and, and rinse them out on your in your sink. But I don't want to get up and leave to clean my transfers, and I want to show you how it's done, so I just clean them on a mat. Either way is fine, but probably the sink is a, is a better, a better, it's cleaner, maybe. You don't want to soak them in water, though. Maybe for just a few seconds, like less than a minute, if you were trying to soften up some paste, because the, the adhesive is water-based. So you could scrape off the adhesive if you, if you soak it for too long. Okay, so there's my loads of love. And let's do, let's do our hearts. Okay, I don't think I sliced that. I'm going to take me to get okay. So I'm just, <clears throat> I don't want to cut this apart. I just want to keep it together. So I just sliced through that little, that little set of lines there. And let's see, C1. So this is the first layer. And again, I, I pre-waxed this and I'm going to Give it just a little fuzz. I can tell it's not super, super sticky. And I'm going to line it up here on this piece. And I'm kind of blind until I hold it up. And I want to get that right to the edge. So this is going to look like um, a couple of different colors of hearts. And I have chosen a light pink and a dark pink. So I have peony or peony, which is a light to medium pink. Very pretty. Uh, camera color doesn't look very good. And current jam, which is kind of a purpley, purpley pink. So I'm going to do... I think I will do the dark color down first. So again, current jam. And I'm going to give this a stir because my colors kind of seem a little separated. I think you're wanting a uh, pudding, sour cream, or Greek yogurt consistency on this. So if this had dried up and was really thick, I could add some distilled water to it and stir it up and that would thin it out. If it's too thin, you just leave it out with the cap off for a little bit and it kind of evaporate the water evaporates and it thickens it up a little bit. 
So this is the first layer, current jam. So what do you think about these trucks? Are you, are you a truck fan? Are you a vintage truck fan in your decorating? Feel that up. There's a spot I want to get again. Okay. Now it looks kind of funky because it doesn't look like hearts, but that's because it's the bottom layer and it's like the hearts that are underneath. So it, it gives it a layered look. So I'm going to dry this and I'm going to wax it because with the next layer, I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up the paste with my sticky transfer. I'm going to dry this really well. I carried her up the stairs and um, had the girl. And Did you shut the door? Good. I'm kind of worried about her. She hasn't been drinking. She hasn't really been eating. I'm not so worried about the eating. That'll come. But I, I knew if she didn't start drinking, she'd get dehydrated. And that just... I know in humans that kind of causes all kinds of problems but apparently she is uh she's picking up the pace there okay option or choice mm. uh, okay i'm lost option or choice it's probably something it's probably something i said and now i don't remember which is not unusual for me to have forgotten so there's another layer of parts to put on there? Yes. Yes, because that, that looks like nothing. That kind of looks like <laughs> parts of hearts. Heart parts. Heart parts. Heart parts. Be oh, careful good. how you say oh, that. Goodness. Oops. Drop the lid. Okay, so I'm going to wax this. Again, I want to protect. I want a layer of protection between the sticky transfer I'm going to lay down on top of this and the paste. But I don't want so much. It's right here. It's in my little basket. But I don't want so much that my paste won't stick. Okay. Get a lid. There it is. I went looking. I didn't see it. It went in the basket. Yeah. Okay. So the special event. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I live in the moment, I guess. I'm like a dog. <laughs> they live in the moment. Yes, okay, please. so here's my other piece. I'm going to peel it off, and I'm going to fuzz it. And fuzz it pretty well because, again, I don't want the stickiness to pull up that paste. Carol said she was finishing your sentence about taking her transfer oh. to the sink and clean it. That was the option oh. of the choice. Okay. Choice. Okay. That's all right. That was too long ago for my brain. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to line it up. Um, so it basically covers up. I guess that was a boo boo right there. It's a paint bleed. I don't know. Okay, that was a paint bleed. I'm going to see if I can get some of that off. I don't think, do you have to? Or was no, that, I don't have to, paint, but uh, I'm putting a light color over it. So I'm going to use my detail tool. This little section right here is real, is real was really just a bleed. And no, it's not wanting to come off. Okay, so we're just going to cover it with the light paint. Nobody's ever going to see it. Nobody will know. Okay, so again, I'm pushing this down. So there's no air bubbles, like apparently there was there. And this is peony. And I've used that pretty recently, so it doesn't need to be stirred. Use another squeegee. You don't have to use a different squeegee every time. I just do because I have them. You can... You can uh, 
wipe them off and use the same one. Wipe off the excess. Keep this handy. I'm going to lift this up slowly. Here we go. See, now it looks like a big old pile of hearts. Just what a big we old needed. truck full of hearts. Big old pile of hearts. Big pile of hearts. That's what everyone needs. Okay, well, you know, I don't know how well these colors are going to go with my rose gold, but I don't care. Because honestly, I probably won't use the hearts much past Valentine's Day. I could. But I can just completely take this off the truck. And not use it. Okay, so give that a quick dry. Okay, and let's put it together. So here we've got loads of love. And we've got our rose gold truck. And we've got, we've got, that doesn't look too bad. That's so cute. Woohoo. Okay, so now I have a spring Valentine's Day decor. If I took this off, I would just have a spring decor. I could find something else to prop on top of here. I could put on a bicycle if I wanted to. What do you think? You could put a bicycle on top of it, like you're carrying it in your truck. What do you think? Do, 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 do. Multiple modes of transportation. Okay, now I'm just getting silly. Okay, so here we go. I could also, because Valentine's Day is red, I could turn it back around to the red side and use my heart's there until Valentine's Day. Lots of choices. It's kind of like one of those, I don't know. Do you ever do those uh, dress up dolls and you could put this blouse and you could put that skirt and this hat and those shoes. Okay, so here we go. Here is our little project. This is vintage truck cutouts and accessories and both of both of the transfers for that again the link to that is if you type in truck you will get a link to these to these items if you're interested in purchasing but and don't forget club if you if you have ever considered being a club member now's the time to really think about it so again let me know if you have any questions and here's our project let me let me pose. <laughs> okay, there we go. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, um, I believe that we are going to take the day off tomorrow from lives uh, because we have a dinner date with some people from our church. So uh, we won't be available in the evening and... So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna take Friday off, but we will be back on Saturday. Not sure what time, but uh, keep your eyes peeled. And especially if you are a club member now, um, keep an eye out in the VIP group. I'm going to try to figure out how to put up a poll so that we can not a like a telephone poll, <laughs> P O L L, um, so that I can see what what nights of the week would be good for our club craft night so i want to get that planned and in the books and get you thinking about it so when you get your transfers you can get all your supplies together and we can all come together on zoom and craft the night away it doesn't have to be night it could be day two so look for that and if you want to get in on that just follow our vip group there's a link in the pinned comment for our vip group it's free no obligation Okay, so that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for sticking with us. And again, if you're new and haven't already, please follow our page. We'd love to have new followers. I'm 
I'm thinking, I'm making plans for when we have a thousand followers, we'll do something special to celebrate. So help us get there fast. I think that's it. So I guess the dogs have, have abandoned us upstairs where it's warm because it's kind of chilly out here. But we will see you. We'll be posting something. We'll be posting something on the page tomorrow, but we won't see you live until Saturday. So see you then. Bye-bye. Nice talking with you.